Howdy folks, so on this episode of Monday Maps, I wanna talk about OpenStreetMap and how to work with this data and get it into Adobe After Effects. I'm gonna show you four methods in particular, and we're really gonna go from like the most basic method, and we're gonna get more and more advanced as we move along here. So if you're new to OpenStreetMap, it's essentially a free and open geographic database. There's a ton of places that use it professionally, and it's just a really great resource. That's why I wanted to make a video focusing about it. To find it, you can go to openstreetmap.org. Now I'm gonna zoom into a Vatican City here, just type it in in the search bar, and hopefully that will bring it in. Okay, here we are, Vatican City in Rome. Now let's say I want to take some elements here or bring this view into Adobe After Effects as a map. And we can do a ton of different stuff with this. Let's say we want to bring, let's say we just want to bring it into After Effects and then, you know, animate around on this particular map. Or let's say we want to trace shape layers over it. We can do a ton of different things. Now, the first method is to simply click on the share button. And then at the bottom, it says image and there's a format drop down menu. I'm going to select PDF and now I'm going to click on download. I'm going to head over here to Adobe After Effects and I'm going to grab my PDF that I downloaded, bring it into my project. And now to create a new sequence, I'm going to simply grab this and drag it directly over this little icon here. That will add a new sequence that's perfectly fit to the size of my PDF. Now we have this map. Let's say we want to zoom in to the Basilica right here. So I'm going to hit the pan behind tool to grab my anchor point and just move the anchor point over here right to the middle here. And now I'm gonna hit S for scale and watch as we scale up, you'll see that it'll scale up right here. And you'll notice that it is pixelated. To fix that, in the column right here, we have this little thing that is called uh, continuously rasterize. It's collapsed transformations, but for vector layer, it is continuously rasterized. So if you click this, that's gonna make all of these vectors crispy, crisp, and sharp. So now that I, as I scale in, we have a nice, vector here. So now I can hold shift and hit P and just do a quick little animation. So we can go uh, 100 here and then keyframe this, come over here to two, bring the scale way up. And then, you know, just uh, quickly reposition this to make our basilica or cathedral right in the middle here. And now you can see we have a crispy, crisp resolution zoom in of our open street map map. Now, one thing you wanna be aware of is this works best at a large scale, meaning zoomed really far in. Like, let's say you wanna grab buildings or a neighborhood. It doesn't work so well when you're zoomed really far out or you're working with small scale because when you're trying to download these in this image format, it, um, it can really like cause things to crash just from what I've noticed. Another thing that you wanna be aware of is that if you're zooming in and out, one thing, uh, just kind of like a best practices, is to close this and then reopen it, and that will refresh your scale right down here, because if you don't have the scale set correctly, it can really make your labels look, um, it can basically show you different things and really mess up all the labels here. Sometimes you might wanna go for that particular look. So if you're a proper GIS pro or cartographer and you understand scale, you can really uh, type this in manually and, and really get a look you're going for. But if you don't, it's easy to get an image that just looks like crap. So method number two is to go from OpenStreetMap to Adobe Illustrator and then to Adobe After Effects. So here you can see I've opened up this PDF, the same PDF file that I downloaded from OpenStreetMap. I've opened it up in Adobe Illustrator here. And now this allows me to really separate this out. If you open up the layer here, you're gonna see that there's a group of all of these paths. So it's essentially split this PDF into all these different paths. And if I grab the selection tool here, I could, for example, grab this basilica or this cathedral and then isolate this selected path and then really do whatever I want. I can you know, copy it over to a new artboard. I could export it out and just really, it gives me really tight control of taking whatever elements I want out of this and then sending those to Adobe After Effects. So you can export this out as a um, PDF or you can export it, save it out as an Adobe Illustrator file, which the, you can then import into After Effects as split out layers, or you can get this premium plugin called Overlord right here. And with this path selected, if I just click this push selection to AE, it's so awesome. Now I just sent it straight over here to AE as a shape file. So really, really cool. So now I have this. Um, 
super, super duper cool. I must warn you though, that if you don't know your way around Adobe Illustrator, if you don't have a lot of experience, this can be a very clunky um, first go. Like if you're coming in here, you don't know the selection tools, it's easy to get lost. It also is a little intensive on your computer. Once again, this is best for large scale, um, really zoomed in. But you know, you can come over here, grab your lasso tool, grab a couple of buildings if you want. Um, it's just really, really fun, really cool way to work. Okay, method number three, we're gonna take it up a notch and enter a new level of complexity. Now we're like GIS pros, we're gonna do a little bit of um, keyword coding here. This is a website called Overpass Turbo. It's overpass-turbo. Uh, .eu, and this essentially allows us to query um, the data in OpenStreetMap so we can pull things using various keywords. And they have a little wizard here. So we're going to go from Overpass Turbo and we're going to export actual GIS files and then we'll bring those into After Effects using GeoLayers 3 because I know a lot of you, pretty much most of you returning subscribers are GeoLayers 3. Uh, users, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's go uh, once again search Vatican City right here and that'll bring us right here. Now I'm going to click on this wizard button and the wizard just helps us like because we don't know how to like manually type in the code here like this JSON or format or whatever it is. Maybe some of you do and kudos to you. Respect if you know how to do that. But I do not yet. So I'm going to use the wizard. And it shows you some examples right here of how to create queries. You use like a key and then a value. And there's an even, if you click on wizard, it'll take you to like a wiki. Um, so if you're looking for something very specific, it gives you kind of like a dictionary that allows you to look at all these keywords. But let's say we wanna do a key a building and then equals uh, church. And then I can say build and run query. And now it gives me these little, I don't know if you can see them right here. Uh, but it gives me these like little things right here. This is all the data that it queried. But we actually want this basilica, so maybe I need to actually type in basilica building or cathedral. Cathedral building one run query. Okay, there it is. So there is this piece of geodata, which is awesome. You can see all of the data fields in here. So now I can click on this little export button and you can see I can do this as a GeoJSON, GPX, KML, even raw open street map data. There's a ton of different things that I can do here. Um, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna do GeoJSON. So we'll click download and now I'll jump back over here into Adobe After Effects. I've already got GeoLayers open. Um, hit add features to browser, import file. And now I will go grab this GeoJSON, open it up, and right here, it even has a name, St. Peter's Basilica. Let's double click here, and now voila, beautiful. This is beautiful. Now we're getting into pro level. Like we're, we're doing, we can draw this out and you know, rock it with our GeoLayers homies. Okay, the fourth and most complex method is going from QGIS, a professional GIS application, to After Effects. So I've got QGIS open here. You can um, just Google QGIS and you can go install it. QGIS works a lot with plugins and I'm gonna be mainly doing all of this with plugins. So we have something called, um, I'm gonna go up here and go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And then under installed, I'm gonna be using quick map services to quickly add a um, open street map base map. And then I have What's the other one? Quick OSM, which is gonna allow me to query, essentially almost exactly like Overpass Turbo. Now, if I go over here, this is Quick Map Services, and then go down to OSM, I can add the OSM standard base map here, and I actually have another plugin called OSM Place Search, and here I typed in Vatican City. I'm gonna search this again. Go ahead and find it, come on, go there. All right, so now that takes us right in here. And now I'm going to go click on this, which is the quick OSM. Open this up. This is again like Overpass Turbo. It allows you to enter keys and values, and it's just really, um, it's a lot more difficult to use, I would say, than Overpass Turbo. Um, but once you learn it, it's, it's pretty great. So let's do the same thing. We can do building. Cool thing about this is it kind of autofills. So even if I hit C, you're going to, you, you'll see it four different things jump up here. So I'm gonna grab Cathedral 
and make sure right here you do um, canvas extent otherwise it's gonna search like way outside now we simply run the query and that's gonna quickly bring in our building cathedral and now what you can do is just you know right click on this and then go to where is it export and now we can save this feature as and then right here I can do the GeoJSON format now if you want to export this out as an image it's actually quite hard in QGIS I would say um, so what you can do is you can actually come up here to project and then go to export and you have export image export PDF but this is um, there's a lot of ways that you can screw up the export so I suggest you go watch my uh, other QGIS video which I'll link in the video description that shows you how to properly export from QGIS which is a fun way I'm really getting into QGIS a little bit more and I'm gonna be making some more QGIS videos for you professionals because it's just so much fun and I've also seen other people using it with DaVinci Resolve so I've been getting that question over the years like DaVinci Resolve users are always like how can I make maps you know we don't have geo layers in um, the black magic umbrella whereas Adobe has geo layers which I feel like is like the only tool um, so QGIS and DaVinci Resolve is really a cool and great way to work with maps and create cool maps so I probably should just create a whole series about that anyways I really hope you enjoyed this video about how to work with OpenStreetMap in Adobe After Effects if you have a different workflow I'd love to hear it so leave it down in the comment section um, yeah that'd be great and if you're a super hardcore map nerd, go check out my GeoLayers 3 Masterclass, my Patreon page, all that stuff. See you in the next one.